Hello everybody. Good afternoon. So I first uh, thank Zainab and team to give me an opportunity. And as you, my name is Mohit and I work as a senior software engineer for accessibility at uh, Yardley, Investnet Yardley. Uh, I, my main area of uh, flash stack here is to spread a bit awareness on accessibility and how it is important for uh, front end engineers, all of us here. So as you all can uh, make out, I'm a person with blindness. So how do I work on computer? So I use a screen reader, which reads out the screen and which tells me like uh, what is there on the screen and it reads out my input and output. It predominantly interacts with the front end UI part. So how, if you want to know deep about that, you can uh, talk to me offline or you can uh, see some of the videos, how a person with vision impairment or a person with any disability uses computer. The main thing is, if the application UI is not built keeping accessibility in mind, it will be a breaker make situation. Like for example, to give an example, this is not a hypothetical example, it is an actual experience. Like you build a like, uh, what, uh, food delivery application, but you haven't considered the accessibility. So what it is telling is, okay, you are a person with blindness, I will not deliver food to you. <laughs> That's how it will be. Like that important. And it's like, you can ask, is it business viable to make and all those things? Yes, there is a data, there is so much of research and there is so much of market. And in my personal experience, like even uh, most of the time when I have to shop online, I have to choose not only between the product and uh, what do I say, price and all the things. The primary thing I have to consider is whether this particular uh, portal is accessible or not. So that is what primarily decides where do I spend money and all the things. So so this is about uh, like a small overview about how accessibility is important and what is the importance of it. And as we all are here front-end engineers, just to give a one pro tip. So mostly most of the browsers and uh, assistive technologies built around keeping the HTML in mind. So in an ideal world, we want like, please use the proper semantic HTML. But we know when we are uh, doing, building the application in a real world, that is not the scenario. For various reasons, we will go for a custom component. We want to build a custom button or custom checkbox, custom radio button. The one, one main, main pro tip what I can give you all is like, you consider what is the HTML element you are trying to replace. Just do a research, what is the functionality that HTML element provides. For example, you hit an enter, what happens? Hit a space for what happens? When you click, what happens? So try to build all those things into the, your custom elements. Then you have something called ARIA, Accessible Rich Internet Applications, that will allow you to substitute all the mockup or whatever the semantic information you can provide to the assistive technologies, which will keep your visuals intact, however you have uh, done through your CSS. So please feel to uh, free, feel free to talk to me. I will be around. And tomorrow, I think uh, post uh, tea break, uh, Rakesh is presenting uh, like in depth on accessibility and all those things. So I request you all to consider accessibility and uh, try to integrate in all your applications. Thank you.